Hey y'all, Tanya Moore here. Tanya Moore, AFBB Canyon Pro. Canyon Lady, AFBB Pro Bodybuilder. However you want to look at me and associate me with, it's, I'm both. Anyways, um, so I just kind of want to do this little quick demonstration for you guys. Um, just to show the alkalinity of these waters. And those of you guys who know me, you know, I always say you guys are drinking acid water. But anyways, um, the one thing about bottled water, it's about three months to a year old before it hits the stores. Um, that means that you got plastic leaching into your water by the time you get it. And basically in Fiji is probably about a year old because it does travel so far. Um, it's about a year old before it hits the stores. So plastic again is leached into your bottled water. Um, so here I'm going to do is a little demonstration. I want to show you the alkalinities of the water. But the main thing what I really am trying to show you guys is this Essentia. Even though you buy it and it's alkaline water. The one thing about buying bottled water. And even though this may come up as alkaline. Um, the thing is, is it doesn't have all the properties. So drinking alkaline water alone um, isn't... The most healthful for your body um, you you need other properties like hydrogen to carry it you need negative ions to carry the alkalinity because once you drink it um, it kind of gets neutralized through your body's acids all right so why it's so important to drink the kangen water is because it's microclustered antioxidant it's hydrogen rich OH, H, O negative, that's what it is, OH negative. So, oxygen, hydrogen, negative. So, the one thing is you want your body, your water to be negative. Um, everything else is positive. And positive means it's aging you. Negative means it's an antioxidant. So, Kangen water is microclustered, antioxidant, alkaline rich hydrogen water with oxygen and electricity in it. So it has all those properties in it when it comes out the machine. So that's why it's so much more optimal for your health and functioning of your cells and um, reducing the aging process and fighting off free radicals in your body. So this won't do that. None of these will do that. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just um, going to do a little science trick here. All right. I'm going to fill this up. This is tap water. I just took it from the sink. The Propel um, represents all sports drinks. Mainly I just want you to see how acidic it is. But this ain't the main point of my little demo here. It's the other fun little science trick that I learned. Alright, Fiji. All right, Essentia, and the Kangen water. All right, so I'm gonna put these little pH drops in the water. It's gonna change a certain color. This is what pool technicians use to test the, the pool's water, right? If you have a pool, you know, you've seen this done before. All right. Let me just mix these up a little bit. So right here, as you can see, the colors of the water, right? So this right here is what? Very yellow acidic. The top water is blue, okay? Kind of greenish blue, purple, purple, all right? So 
this is kind of where they fall into the chart. So here we got purple, right there. This is a little bit neutral. This is the Fiji. Propel is very acidic and that represents all sports drinks. This is what top athletes are putting in their body or maybe they're not and they're just doing it for advertisement just so you can drink it and think it's doing something good for you. Now, this will come out blue because due to city ordinances and codes and all that stuff, um, by laws, the um, pipes will rust if the water is acidic. So due to the codes and all that good stuff, um, they have to alkalize the water. And how they do it is by putting chemicals and poisons and drugs or whatever, you know, in the water, lye and fluoride. So that's why it comes out blue because they don't want to rust the pipes because they know acidity will rust the pipes. So if your body is acidic, what does that mean? It's going to rust your pipes, right? All right. Okay. So here's the magic trick. This is what I wanted to do. So this is blue, right? So I'm going to take this straw and blow into it. Did you see it change colors? That's because when we breathe out, we expel carbon dioxide and pull out oxygen. So that's what happens. The main thing here is what I want to show you is this is alkaline, right? So if it's alkaline, it should stay pretty alkaline. See what happened here? It changed colors. Now it's acidic. This is what happens when you drink it and you put it in your body. It turns acidic. All right, and that is because it's a man-made chemical that they use to put in here to make it alkaline. So it's not true alkaline water. Here's the condom water. Still blue, still alkaline. It has oxygen, electricity, microclustering in here. All right. Um, so that's why it doesn't change. It work. It's going to take more work to get it to change. When you pull the oxygen out, that's what's going to happen. It'll it, eventually, as I keep breathing, oxygen that is in that water will eventually come out. So, but you see that it's still alkaline. This isn't, right? That's the main thing I just wanted to show you guys. That this is man-made, processed, alkaline water. It's not true alkaline. Um, and that's what you're spending your money on. Two, three dollars a bottle, right? Two ninety-nine, three ninety-nine for this water. When you could be spending 73 cents per liter of this water by having one in your own home. All right, so that was it. A quick demonstration. Wanted to show you guys a quick little fancy science trick. All right, so hit me up if you have any more questions and if you want me to do any other demonstrations on maybe a water that you drink if I don't have one here, okay? See ya, peace.